All right, so today we're going to talk about polynomials, section 6.1. Now, does anybody know what the term polynomials actually means? Multiple, many. Okay, it actually talks about many numbers or many terms. So we're going to talk about polynomials today or many terms. Poly meaning many. All right. Um, first thing, vocab here. First we're going to talk about is a monomial. Now, if poly means many, what does mono mean? That actually up there. It actually means one. Okay, so a monomial is one term. So something with one term, 8x, 9. Uh, the one in the box there says 3x squared, y to the fourth. Now, again, polynomial is a monomial or a sum or a difference of monomials. So polynomial means many terms. Degree of a monomial. We're going to talk about some degrees today. Degree is the sum of the exponents of the variables in the monomial. So let's talk about here. Degree is the exponents. <clears throat> degree is the exponents. And then the, de the degree of a polynomial is the degree of the term with the greatest degree. So basically it's the greatest exponent. So we're talking about today, we're going to find some degrees of polynomials. We're looking for the one with the greatest exponent. Sorry. Just uh, leading coefficient here. First off, what's the, word, what's the term coefficient mean? Who remembers what a coefficient is? Now, not what a leading coefficient is. What's a coefficient, Troy? Yeah, the coefficient is the number that goes before the variable. Okay, like those are your coefficients there. All right, so the leading coefficient, what's going to guess what the leading coefficient is? Yeah, it's the first number in the standard form. Okay, it's the first one in standard form. Um, so it's the first coefficient. A binomial now. A binomial is a polynomial with two terms. Now, why does binomial mean two terms? Bicycle. When you think of a binomial, you should think of a bicycle. Two wheels, two terms. Next, we have a trinomial. A trinomial is a polynomial with three terms. And again, we should think of a tricycle. Trinomial, three terms. Okay. And then a polynomial function is a function whose rule is a polynomial. So here's what we're looking at today. Okay, These, this is going to help you with kind of classifying them. All right, now these kind of go together. And these go together. For example, zero is a constant. Okay, if you have no degree, basically that's like saying x to the zero power. Okay, if I have x to the zero power, that's what's going to give me a constant. Why? Because what's x to the zero power? One. So it's a constant. I don't have an exponent, basically. All right? So if it's ever just a number, that's what's called a constant degree. Because so it's going to give me a constant number. Just a number, no variables. Linear. We've already done linear before. We did that back in section chapter one. Okay? Linear is when there's an exponent of, like, an invisible exponent of one there. Like, x to the first plus three. So it's just an x. That's what's called a linear degree. Quadratic is when it's squared. So I should say 3x squared. Summarizing and formatting kind of messed it up there, but 3x squared. A cubic is when I have it raised to the third power. So again, that should say 2x to the third. Now, these bottom ones should be your new ones. <clears throat> you should recognize the rest of those already. The bottom ones, 4 is quartic. So anything that's x to the fourth is what's known as quartic. Now, why does that make sense? Think about it. How many quarts are in a gallon? Five. No. You're going to confuse somebody now. <laughs> How many quarts are in a gallon? Four. How many quarters are in a dollar? Four. Four. So quartic is a degree of four. four. And then the last one here, we have quintic. It's a penny, right? <laughs> quintic is when it has a degree of five. So it's an exponent of five. And again, why does that make sense? Um, you can think of quintuplets. Quintuplets is five babies. That happens. It's a lot. Yeah. It does not happen that often. No. Next right here is the terms. Now, again, if there is one term, we call that a monomial. Two terms, binomial. Three terms, trinomial. Anything more than three is just a polynomial of that many of terms. So let's say I have like seven terms. I would say then polynomial of seven terms. Anything after three doesn't have a special name. Okay, you just say a polynomial. Okay, here's another table. It's the same information. 
So again, you're looking at the degree. Degree is the highest exponent. Um, so we have constant, linear, quadratic, cubic, quartic, and a quintic. And then we have our leading coefficient. Leading coefficient is the first coefficient of the highest degree. So if I were to look right here in the quintic, what's my leading coefficient going to be? A 9, just a 9. What's my leading coefficient here? 6. So Nathan, I'm the third one here. On degree of 3, what's my leading coefficient going to be? 4. Yeah, my leading coefficient is going to be 4. Haley, what's my leading coefficient going to be here on my quadratic term? Negative 1. Negative 1. Nice job, Kenna. And the degree of 1. Serena, what's my leading coefficient going to be here? Two, two. Two. Nice job. Okay. So let's classify these polynomials now. So number one, the first thing you need to do is write it in standard form. Now recognize it is already in standard form written. Standard form is highest degree on down. So it's the highest exponent on down. Okay. Then I need to find the leading coefficient. Simeon, why is the leading coefficient 1 here? It's the first thing. It's the first thing, yeah. There's an invisible 1 right there, right? Yep. Great. So now I need to find the degree. Kenna, what's the degree of this polynomial? Um, three. That'd be degree 3. And what is degree 3 called? Anybody? Uh, no, that's terms. Cubic. That is a cubic. 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 Okay, now, how many terms are in this polynomial? Noah, how many terms are there? There are four terms. Anything after three, we just call what? Polynomial. Yep, so we'd say polynomial of four terms. Wait, so five would count too? not just that. So let's look at number two here. I need to write in standard form. Standard form, again, is the highest degree on down. So it starts off with 3x to the 4th. What's going to come after 3x to the 4th? I would say what, Trevor? So I have, I'm looking at this problem right here, bud. I want to write that in standard form. After 3x to the 4th comes what? How about 5x squared minus x? So we have it now in standard form. Now I need to find the leading coefficient. Nathan, what's the leading coefficient going to be? It would be 3. Good job. What's my degree going to be, Sam? 4. 4. What is that called? Uh, quadratic. Nope, quadratic is 2. Quartic. Quartic. Do we have to write cubic on that? Yes. So yeah, that's quartic. And then number of terms, how many terms are there here, gold app? Three. Three. So that's called a what? That is a trinomial. Nice job. Um, yeah. Well, on your assignment there, so I'm going to ask you for the names. I always put the numbers first just so I it's visual to see it, see the correlation. Yes, ma'am. Um, no, because your final answer actually has two terms. You don't simplify. One, two. Okay, well. Yes. All right. Um, six. Standard form. Or not six, sorry. Number three. Kaylin, what's that going to be in standard form? Number three. Number three? Yeah. Nice job. What's my leading coefficient going to be? Uh, K, what's my leading coefficient there? Uh, seven. Seven. Good job. Degree, what's my degree going to be? Serena? Four. No, quadratic. You're trying. Is five, <laughs> and it is quintic. <laughs> it's quintic. Okay, so next part here now, number of terms. Camden, how many terms are there? Camden, how many terms are there? Two. Camden, two terms are called what? A binomial. I don't like this stuff. Okay. Number four. 
I need to write in standard form. Trevor Wald, what's that going to be in standard form? X to the fourth minus 2x to the third plus 3x squared minus 4. Oh my goodness. What? Good job. Okay. Sorry, what was that? Minus, oh, sorry, minus 3x squared? Yeah. There you go. Ooh, my eights. There you go. Okay, what's my leading coefficient going to be there, Peyton? It is Wait. x plus 1. Be 1. So why does x become b4, 8? I don't know how we did Because my constant always goes at the end. My constant technically has no variable, so it's always at the end. Highest variable on down. Okay, what's my degree here going to be, Gabe? <laughs> that is degree 4, and that is quartic. Okay, and the number of terms here? Suter, how many number of terms are there? And we call that what then? Polynomial of five terms. Good job. Nice job. Okay, take a couple seconds to try these two on your own. So, part A here, 5A. Oh, uh, let's go. Anna, give me that in standard form, please. Nice job. Okay. What's the leading coefficient going to be there, Dylan? What's the leading coefficient? It is not two. Leading coefficient here, however, is what, Serena? Uh, one. One. Because I'm looking right in front of the X cube. There should be an invisible one there. Got the next one. Haley, what's the degree? Two. Yeah. Mm -hmm. wow. A lot of confidence there. We got that one wrong. <laughs> <laughs> what was it? Three. Three. Did you not put it in the standard form? Oh, I'm sorry. So what's three called, Haley? Cubic. You had me worried there for a second. And then how many terms are in this polynomial? Claire. I this one. No, I got Claire in this one. Claire, how many terms are in there? Four. And we call that what? Polynomial four terms. Yeah, polynomial four terms. And then, if I wanted to name that polynomial, E, to name it, that would just be a cubic polynomial of four terms. You just take your last two things, basically. Yep. Okay. So, six. Um, I'm going to rewrite that in standard form. Morgan, give me that in standard form, please. Yep. Yep. Correct. Leading coefficient. Suter, leading coefficient. Four. Watkins, what's the degree? Oh, degree? Correct, you're correct. Say the number and then that. So that'd be two quadratic. Okay, I gotta do one right now. Um, Ryan, how many terms are in this polynomial? Three. We call that a what? A trinomial. So again, my name would then be a quadratic trinomial. Last thing we're going to do today is we can add or subtract polynomials. Now, really, what is adding and subtracting polynomials just like? What? Yeah, it's just like adding and subtracting like terms. Okay, adding and subtracting polynomials is nothing more than combining like terms. So, for example here, I combine the x cubes, combine the x squareds, combine the x's, combine the constants, and I get a new answer. Okay. So, let's look at number seven here. I have 3x squared plus 2x cubed minus x plus 6x plus 2x squared plus 1. So notice they aligned everything. Like they took the x cubed, put it out front. Then they took the x squareds, put those down, followed by the constants. Oops. And that, or sorry, sorry about my linear terms, then my constants. They just kind of listed everything out um, vertically. Do you have to do it that way? No. You could just combine like terms. For example, is there anything that goes with x cubed? No, so I'm going to say 2x cubed. And then I look at my x squared. I have 3x squared and a positive 2x squared. With that, what's that going to give me? 5x. 5x squared. And then I have my x terms, negatives x plus 6x. Plus 5x. Ooh. 5x. And then I have plus 1. Okay, so I'm just combining like terms. Adding and subtracting polynomials is nothing more than combining like terms. 
8. <clears throat> if I were to combine like terms here, I'm going to look at the x cubed first. 4x cubed plus 2x cubed. What's that going to get me? 6x six. Six cubed. Plus 4x. Now there's nothing with the x squared, so I'm just going to say plus 4x squared. Minus. Now I have plus x and minus x. What's going to get me there? Nothing. Zero. Zero cancels out. Minus 5. Who could name what this would be right here? What would 6x cubed plus 4x squared minus 5? What type of trinomial? That'd be a cubic trinomial. Cubic trinomial. Cubic trinomial, nice job. Now, pay attention here. Last thing here, we're going to also subtract polynomials. Now, take note here, they kind of made an error. Notice how they went from x squared down to x cubed. Yeah, that, that's just a typo. We're going to make the second one x squared as well. Okay. I don't know why they kind of made a top, typo there. They may have, but I don't like it that way. So we're going to do x squared instead. Anyways, um, instead of subtracting, what could I do? I could just add the opposites. So I could change subtraction to addition and then change all the signs. Okay. Um, that's one way to work it out. If you want to subtract, you can. No, really no different. Okay, so in the end here, I'm going to have 6x squared plus x squared, which gets me 7x squared. Okay, um, after 7x squared, I'm going to have 4x minus 2x, which gets me 2x. And then negative 1 minus 1 gets me negative 2. All right, and then again, I can look at the bottom here. Instead of subtraction, I can add the opposite. So I can take just positive, negative, positive. I'm just, I can change it. Or if you don't want to change it, you can keep it the way it's at. It doesn't matter. But either way, I'm going to take 4x cubed minus a negative x cubed, which gets me. Nope. So 4x cubed. Minus a negative x cubed. 5x cubed. Now, x squared, is there any other x squared term? No. No, so it's going to be minus 3x squared. And then my last thing is plus 6. All right. Take a couple seconds, try these four on your own. Same idea. Combine, add, or subtract the polynomials. Let's look at these here. Taylor, what do you have for number 11? I put 9x plus 15? Correct. 12. Haley, what do you got? 2x minus 6. 2x minus 11. 2x minus 12. 2x minus 12. Okay, that's what I add. I don't have to write it. I just counted wrong. You did count wrong. Yeah, 2x minus 12. 5x minus 3x is. 2x, then negative 3 minus 9 gets me a negative 12. Because they're both negative, so add them, keep them. 13! Nathan, what do you get for 13? Sam, what do you get for 13? x squared plus 2x plus 2. Nice job. And 14, Boger, what do you got? Nice job. That was wrong, Noah. No, that was right, Noah, so that's what I had. Here's your assignment.